Hello! So I have not posted a video in a long time again, but I did acquire a new van. This is a 2002 Chevy, uh, it's not a Chevy Express, this is a 2002 GMC Savannah, same thing basically. Um, so it is a little bit of a conversion van, but it had a unique interior which really interested me, so I will show that to you now. So. Uh, one thing that I've already done is I repaired a lot of rust. You can see it has started to rust through already. Um, so I'm doing some repairs on my repairs, but I will show you uh, before pictures. This had horrible rust due to a running board that it had, but I'm taking care of that. So I've already done some work on the inside, and I will explain to you exactly what I've done. But first I want to show you the interior. There was no seats, there was no anything else, there's not even any seat mounts, but the walls, the ceiling, and the floor are completely carpeted and finished. So I don't know if like a band was using this to haul equipment or what, but it's really well done. Um, so what I have done is I have done a, a very simple conversion. I wanted things to be easier this time. So I actually used a bunch of Sterilite crates and I stacked them together how I wanted. I used zip ties to connect them. Then, for instance, here I have a little crossbar that is just a piece of one by two that I have coated in Plasti Dip and glued in place with E6000. Um, so that provides a little resting space and prevents things from falling out. And this space is actually where the toilet goes. Um, so, that space I kind of intended for toilet paper. Um, so over here I have another uh, little storage space I made with more crates, um, both the large size and the small size. And again, they are just uh, zip tied together. You can see that there. I put another crossbar here to prevent things from coming out. So I could store something larger in there for like cooking uh, equipment, but as you can see, two of the small crates put together fits in there really well. Alright, and this is the sink. So this countertop is left over from the last van build that I did last year. Um, it's OSB, so it's a little bit textured, and I didn't like that when I had it painted black. It's a little bit better when it's painted white, but I just didn't want to spend the money to do something completely new. So I have my $1 Dollar Tree um, basin. This is just a dish pan that I use as the sink. I cut a hole in for the drain and I have a pump uh, faucet which I got off Amazon and that runs down a tube into a Dollar Tree water jug which I put a rubber grommet in just to help hold that in place. Similar thing under the drain. The only difference is I designed this gray piece and printed it on my 3D printer because I wanted it to go from the large drain size into just a small hose so I don't have to worry about water splashing all over the place. All of those, like I said, they're just uh, connected with the zip ties. Same thing with my storage over here, which I made for clothes. I have another one by two coated in Plasti Dip glued in place to hold clothes. And then four of those small crates actually fits inside the large crate. And I have more here. This is kind of my pantry. So I have these bars on all of these. My thought was I could put canned goods in there um, and it would not go flying out. For the bed, I have a cot that I bought as a child, or I guess my parents bought when I was a child, uh, that I used for Cub Scouts when I would go camping. Um, so that was, you know, something I had. So why buy or build something when I already have something I can use? Now I do have this curtain and what I did is I screw, screwed some snaps into the van and then attached them to the blackout curtain so I can just snap that in place. So that gives me some privacy there. Now here I have a big covering and that goes in this window. And this is Reflectix and it's been plasti dipped on one side, not on the other. So I put the black side out. So here it is, you've got the silver uh, is on the inside and then the black is on the outside and because of that uh, you can't you can't see through the window at all obviously and because it's black uh, you can't unless you look closely you don't even realize that it's there so somebody will just think the back is empty 
So, uh, this is where I'm at right now for this build. I have some more things I want to work on. Um, I'm just working on still fixing up the rust on the outside and finalizing some things on the inside. So, we'll see where it goes. Thanks for watching.